My life has no meaning. What the fuck am I doing here? What the fuck is this place? I don't give a shit about all this shit. I need some fulfillment, some spiritual experience. Maybe some cunt or dick would give me that ecstasy? I have these teats, oh they are glorious. I feel pornographic desire over myself, I just want to stare at them in the mirror. Oh, goddamn, would somebody please just come and fuck them, or rub their cunt cream all over my pointy nipples? What does it take for a girl to share her soul with somebody? Look at all these fucking idiots in this office. It's as if all they can be passionate about is their shit fuck job, that they seem to think is identical to self. What the fuck? It's so ridiculous, like they are traitors to humanity, to all our souls, it makes me hate them bitterly. I think because it really feels like they are voids, just empty shells. I mean, are they really just there, sitting there, working, working, working? Isn't anybody going to just say, shit, this sucks. What are we doing? Get the fuck out of here. Run to the fucking forest, assholes. Open your mind to the fucking infinity inside us all, and all around. Jesus fucking Christ. You're wasting your fucking lives. Like, hey Cheryl, like, you seem different today, hee <laughs> hee, what's wrong buttercup, hee <laughs> hee. What's up your cunt, sweetie? I hate you. But wanna fuck you now so we can, at least, try for soul union. But my rage also makes me wanna fucking eat you, all of you, even that shit sting stuck in your ass canal. Oh, jeepers, somebody really needs a vacation, hee <laughs> hee. Somebody needs to change their tampon, hee <laughs> hee. Like, why are you so silly grumpy, hun? Do you need a dick stuck up in you? Do you think, fucking asshole, that if you had not just a dick, but a cunt, also, that you could stick your dick in that cunt and come in yourself? That would be such a lowness. The clit is a little dick, and the dick is a big fucking clit. We are not very different, soulfully, sexually. If one soul feels ecstasy, then we all do, from being close to it. Do you know, that there are beast women who live in another dimension? and live by seeing thick shafts of light raining around and through them. Like, oh my god, girl, like what's happened to you? Can I get you a little aspirin, or maybe a coke? Do you need me to rub your tits, bitch? Here, come here buttercunt. There is a blue lightning, and a gold lightning, all around us, humming, radiating. The moment you are aware of them just a little, you get a taste for their essence. Um. How do you, um? Know that lil butter cunt. Because I see them, you fucking fickity fuck. You see them also, but you forgot, in the same way that you forgot right now that you have often felt presences around you, beings, watching, feeling your mind, all around, in the shadows, or, more specifically, in a different dimension. Oh sweetie, do you need some medication, hee <laughs> hee? Do you need your tighties licked? Wow. My hatred for you is so intense that I feel I want to eat you, almost to unite with you, in a spiritual fusion based on hate, and ecstasy at every chew, every gulp, of your meat, your flesh, your blood. It is such a bad thing to do that it makes me feel I am not part of the world anymore, that that is is only omnipresent static, a mist of unreality. Will you grant me that gift? Let me eat you, in a ritual of hate, of ecstasy. I will start with your dick. I am sure you'd like that, little boy, wouldn't you? Just the thought of consuming you, a little tear of flesh, out of your cock, and then one after the other, to put your body out of existence, but in mine, so you don't have to live, your pathetic and shallow existence anymore. Oh beast man, give me your cock, your balls, to chomp and digest, to shit out and stink. Will you give me, you? Uh, please, become me. Hee <laughs> hee, okay baby. I think this is getting a bit weird, hee <laughs> hee, you just need to think positive, sweet tits, you just need a dick up your cunt, that's all, um. Okay, bye bye. Yummy. I love the smell of my own shit. Almost good enough to eat, since sometimes it smells like meat. 
I love my little poopsies that squish out of my asshole. There is a fool that lives on the edge of town who eats soap, bark, and leaves, and a sonorous humming in through the walls. You shut up fucking bitch. You are going straight to fucking hell cunt. I will see to that myself cunt. Oh yeah, you are going to get it real good bitch. Real fucking hard, whore. Do you like the smell of my shit? I like how it makes me feel dirty, earthy, like I can go and roll around in the mud naked. I like getting my pussy all muddy. Hey, you cut that shit out cunt. Or I will rip off your head and fuck your mouth. Oh yeah, the Lord punishes the sinners. Yeah, you need a real hard cunt. I think being in here with me, while I am shitting, gets you really horny. I think you like being in here, with a girl doing something private, intimate, stinky. I think you like watching my boobs delicately hang down and shake as I wipe my shitty asshole. I think you like when my asshole spreads so I can wipe off all that stinking shit. Hey fucking bitch. Shut your shitty mouth fuckhole and your nasty shitty ass fuckhole before I come over there and cork them for you cunt whore. Yeah I know how to plug those holes for you real good, for our savior and lord. Yeah, your steamy shit pile smells real nice. Why don't you shit here on the floor so I can smell that slop pile? Hey bitch. Want me to shake my tits for you while you shit? Want me to spread my cunt hole so you can look into the rings of my feminine center while the shit drops out your pooper? I think that if you look deep into my cunt, you, in a way, look deep into my essence, myself, and thus only by the looking alone there is a ecstatic sexual union, and bring from my happiness to your happiness. One self in surrendered sexual giving. Yes. I would very much like to look very deeply into your cunt. It would indeed feel, in ways, like I was looking into yourself. Somehow that fills me with a wild closeness. You will now visit the hermit at the edge of town. He will look very deeply into your cunt, and tell you your destiny, your future. The mere act of this looking, this telling, is like astrology, but involves mapping your life not with stars, but with your body. In the way a palmist maps your life from your palm, I will leave you now, vanishing back into the ether, and away from the glorious fog of your shit smell, which is a smell that unites us, since the act of smelling your shit, brings little shit particle into my nose, so that particles from your body are in mine, and the most intimate particles they are. I'll love you forever. What will you see, deep inside my cunt? I will, actually, see into a different realm. A realm of truth, of an omnipresent hum. A realm that is made of your flesh, but which is also made of needle-like flashes. I wish, that, you could be me, and I could be you, at the same time. Why do I so long for that, which, in full form, is out of our reach, so often? At least partially distinct. I wish my body orifices released odors as magical as your cunt. Would you like to hold my hand and potty with me? Do I have to know your name first? I want to remain a stranger. Which would we go? Poop or pee? Let's start with pee and later we can go shit. I love to shit in the woods. Nothing like a good nature shit. I would cherish the spirituality of a good hard nature shit with you, oh cunt. You have the most beautiful shit. Where did you get your astrological training? And your wondrous old bullshit pile of slop is just exquisite. The best answer to tell you is that I'd always had the knowledge, everyone does, but I just remembered it whereas the mass of sentient minds in the simulation do not. I have the ability, oh cunt, to see deeply into the wall of soul whereas others don't remember. I will be very happy that you will be able to look so deeply into my cunt. I wish my deep happiness over that into words for you so that you would understand. I wish you could know how holy that makes me feel. I couldn't do it, hypnologically. Your spiritual piece, about that before you arrived, I have been sensing that for about a month, 
since around the time your breakdown. So I do feel the psychedelia of your mind and I know how you feel, oh cunt. The morphology of your cunt will tell me so much about you. For example, the further it opens the larger. Your soul is, the more playful and clownish it is. I trust that you know about the transcendental clouds that exist all around listening to our thoughts. The cunt has been specially designed by the simulator to involve a structure that induces hypnagogic frenzy and great joy for any mind that beholds its psychedelic geometry. It is a flower made of fleshy meat that allows the viewer to sense the hypnagogic eruption of the simulator's energy. The same happens with dicks, its balls, and death holes, but to a lesser degree, when you allow and relish. My astrological investigation of your cunt, it changes your consciousness to be more similar to the simulator, so we both contain ecstatic joy. When I examine the stars, and also your cunt, I can formulate a full picture of the heavens and the earth, which are copies of one another. To know one is to know the other, but to aesthetically witness both allows me to dissimulate and see the light that composes everything. The stars, the trees, your cunt, my big fucking 12 inch super dog monster dick, the oceans, your mind, everything is all composed of needle points of ecstatic light. The pictures in your mind are never imagination. They are always showing you where you are, and you are not always here, where you think you are. When I daydream. I often envision other places, other worlds, often very different from this world. When I envision these worlds, I often feel like, just for a flash, I am there, at those worlds. A human is identical to their consciousness mind, not their body. Consciousness consists of perception, consciousness is about things perceived. So, that means that during daydreaming, a human really, actually can visit other worlds, and cease to be in the present physical surroundings, if only for a moment. So, my mind is omnipresent, it is everywhere in the simulation. All quantum particles are entangled, and if my consciousness touches, or interacts with just one of them, it actually interacts with all of them. Just touching one of them, actually, means you are not separate, somewhat identical, to all of them. In fact, if anything touches any other thing, then all of reality is composed of points of ecstatic light, that are not separate from each other, that share their existence, oh ecstatic cunt. This is because all of reality, of any reality, can only be composed of point atoms that do not have size. All of reality is composed of an irreducible set of atoms that do not have parts. If they did have parts, they would not be atoms, and if they are atoms, and have size, then they have a right side, and a left side, for example. Only by having no parts at all, and thus no size, can atoms be. This is true of any reality. In other words, any reality can only be composed of points of flickering light, oh holy cunt. Each of these points must have all aspects of their existence touching something else, or touching other points of light. Since that's all there is, this is because the atoms of light cannot be touching nothing, since nothing does not exist, and thus it's impossible for points of light to touch nothing. But in touching each other, the points of ecstatic light cannot have any distance between them, for if they did, they would not touch each other. Some may want us to believe that there is not nothingness between the points of light, since the points exist in space, or some sort of container. But this container also is describable by the same atomic theory, where any item can be broken down to infinitesimally small parts. And if these infinitesimally small particles have a size, then they have parts, and if they have parts, then they are not the smallest things. 
and if they are not the smallest things, then there are more fundamental parts. Eventually we reach the atom, which cannot have size. It is a point of ecstatic light. This is not the atom that scientists talk about, which is not, actually, a partness atom at all. Anything is describable by these laws. Matter, mind, space, anything. Only these atoms of light exist, everything is describable in terms of them. There is nothing else but them. Some wonder, what are the atoms located in? Do they exist in space? Are they at a place? And the answer is, no, they are not. There is no such thing as place, since all atoms are indistinguishable, to some degree. As I will next explain to you, O oh glorious cunt, place, location, where, and here versus there, are only misunderstandings of the mind that does not see the ecstatic points of light, which are not things at places, but rather which are chunks of reality, and thus there is nothing more fundamental than them, such as a placement they need to reside at. There cannot be gaps between these atoms of light, lest there be nothingness, which is impossible. There are only atoms. So, there must be zero distance between the points of light that touch each other. But if the points of light, that have no size whatsoever, have zero distance between each other, then they overlap, or coincide, in some sense, O oh cunt. If they did not, there would be nothingness between them, and thus they would be held. And nothingness, touching nothingness, which is back to the original absurdity, which is fucking impossible. So they overlap, but if they do, then they share their existence with each other, in some way. This is, is because two points of ecstatic light that coincide are not distinguishable from each other. But also these points of light cannot only exist in one central point, for then reality would not involve spaciousness, a mystical cunt, and this single point would then be surrounded by nothingness, and its existence would touch nothingness, O oh, cunt flower. The points of light are all not separate, and compose existence to an infinite distance in every direction. So, reality involves points of ecstatic light that are both spread out from one another, but which are also all touching each other and sharing their existence. So, reality is not describable as being spacious, or non-spacious, rather, it is a hyperdimensional, non-cosmic, translogical, humming and collapsing and radiating infinity, where every point is a wormhole to every other point, where all times and points and Regions are inside of each other, in mandalic, fractal, and transcendental frenzy, involving the loss of meaning of, and between, inner space and outer space, and which is heard the psychedelic hum of reality, which is ecstasy, and blinding light, and loss of time and space, and seeing the solipsistic simulation that is physical reality. The humans, of this planet, think they are identical to their occupations, if they only knew their real selves which they have never seen. They would understand that they are creatures who don't are about control of their bowels, and who see a blinding light filling their eyes, and who are touching, feeling, the pulsing emotional ball inside themselves, which is at rest, and vibrates with violence. They are astrologers, theoreticians, prophets, libertines. So, then, my consciousness, being omnipresent, coincides with all events of this simulation, and thus is, in some way, identical to all the simulation. The points of light composing the simulation are not distinct from the very feeling states that compose my mind at this very instant. There are no distinct universes, there are no parts of things. There are only flickering atoms. All of time, space, and all world, all ideas every thought, all information, all of this, is actually the humming infinity. If there is no nothingness, no non-being, then to every distance I can point, to an infinite direction there is existence, existence composed of the humming points, of ecstatic light. Infinite worlds and beings and minds and ecstasies exist. After I look deep inside your cunt, and examine your astrology, 
you will take your sweet smelling cunt to the furthest region, to Galaxy 27. There you will meet with the secret government of that galaxy. They will teach you about the real nature of existence. And after they do, they will then have to kill you, since your existence is meaningless. But knowing reality for just a short time, is so joyous, that it will be worth it. Your body will stay here next to your ship, as you travel. And your disembodied soul, which is what you really are, will travel. Go now, O cunt flower. Hello Mesters, it is good to be here, with you. Is this a super space, or a dimensional passageway? Shut the fuck up, stupid bitch. It's merely a mind simulation when one senses the infinity hum of reality, the mind projects pictures of physical landscapes, based on its orientation to, its closeness or farness, to the philosophical light points. This landscape, is merely a psychedelic landscape which occurs when a simulant's mind is only a few stages away from being able to, actually, see you the atoms of light. You are all a bunch light. of stupid fucking asshole dumb fucks. You actually think anything you do matters right now, in any way. You think we want to be sitting here talking to you, stupid fucking shit fuck bitch. I fucking hate communicating with your stupid fucking asses. Communication does not actually exist intellectually. People don't know reality. So no sentence can be verified to be true, and so no sentence in communication is ever known to be about anything real. So, there is no fucking communication, assholes. So, what the fuck do you want to talk to me about? What the fuck do you ass faces want to talk about? Whatever it is, it's bull fucking shit. Oh, and you fucking retards can't fucking figure that out? Then you understand. You understand that there is no point. And you can just fucking die bitch. Nothing fucking matters and you are a fucking cunt. You are stupid. You don't even know who you are. And your ass is your fucking brain. Oh really? Shit fucks? What about spiritual ecstasy? It is the only state of mind that has a feeling of significance, and therefore has meaning. Did you guys just fucking forget that, you transdimensional shitheads? Just having to talk to your fucking know-nothing asses? Just having to expel that fucking effort to engage in a shitty, stupid social situation, and have to think about it, makes me so fucking pissed fucking off that I almost want to fucking commit suicide. That's what your fucknik shit fucking existence means to me fuckheads. Oh abscess. Oh the crisis of death. Oh the bewilderment of the realization of the emptiness. Oh drunken disintermagnolist. Visualizing the geometry of her pain, the growth within her. And, the identical growth within the homosexual, electric flash, ball of fire in the sky, aesthetic frenzy, for now, we live, the eternal light is blinding, sphere, at the center of, everything, growing golden spikes, protruding from its body, a woman, in a temple, drunken joy, feels it, she is drunk with female, smells, and female sounds, and the golden monster dick, at the nucleus of the temple where the women compete in sports, such as wrestling, orgasming, sensory deprivation, and meditation. I think it's good that you don't have a body, and, thus, don't have to shit, here in hyperspace. These bodies are just illusory body suit projections, is that right? If you look inside your mind, you see some metal energies, but there is a void behind them, a deep fucking black fucking blank. We can't call it nothing. Because nothing is impossible, but, it appears like an endless vacancy, or void, or absence. So, you know nothing but your phenomenology, your mental existence, and none of the pictures in it matter or have any meaning. Your mind is a simulation, and... The essence of that simulation, that you are, is pain. Human life, or simulation, is to exist in pain, as the philosopher Buddha said, a character in the simulation. Lived. The creator of the simulation can only be a dark, cruel, and sadomasochistic creator. Our reality is made of pain, so a dark god created us all herein. The simulation. No Christian sort of god would create that. It is a sadomasochistic god, and our only existence is to live in suffering. So, there is no point to your life, and you might as well die. If you are in spiritual ecstasy, as you say you are then that ecstasy makes you understand that you don't have a body, 
so who cares if you terminate it in death? There is no point, time for you to fucking die fucking cunt. No, pain does not exist, only spiritual ecstasy exists. If you look deeply into your pain, it ceases to be pain. The only worthy or real life is the life that is inebriated, knocked out, meditating, stoned, in nirvana, fucked up in some fucking way, in ecstasy, where everything seems to have meaning. No, the ecstasy is a type of sadness. To understand the omnipresent static light, is to feel a deep emptiness, right there in the light. That there is nothing more. In the ecstasy, is that sadness? Yes, a field of light atoms is all there can be, ultimately, to any reality. This is deduced by simple logic, as the tramp on the edge of town, who sent me to you, explained to me, that tramp is a fucking ass smelling pile of dog shit, who we don't care about. If he lives or dies matters nothing to us. I would like to see the tramp's body devoured by wolves, blood and pieces of organs flying up in the air due to the frenzied feeding of the ravenous beasts. I would like to look deep into his eyes at the moment he was dying, place my mouth on his, and take his last breath into mine, therein consuming his shitty little soul. I would like to feel his soul leave his body, and merge with ours, like two puffs of air amalgamating into one joyous little green explosive, poof of ecto, plasmic steam. I don't think you shit faces are correct. The atoms are not a forlornness. Rather, they are perfect peace, perfect satisfaction and ecstasy. I just think you fucking shit pissers just are not doing your meditation actively enough, and the perfect ecstasy turns into depression and emptiness for you dumb fucks. It is well known, among the galactic mystics, that that leads to dark ecstasy, and the sadomasochistic spirituality, that you stupid shit eaters are living through. Okay, well, that is nice stupid bitch, but we are killers and we are now going to kill you, we are going to eat your disembodied soul and merge your existence with ours, ending yours. Oh shit, I am so fucking terrified. Oh shit! You mean I can't exist as this stupid know-nothing pile of shit soul that I am? Oh boohoo. I am so sad I think I'm going to cry, you fucking retarded fucking fuck fuckers. Oh and I sure hope you don't piss and shit all over my stupid dead fucking pile of fuck shit soul. Oh no, please don't. Oh I am so scared. Oh no, the shit fuck existence I have, where I know nothing, don't even know what I am, where I come from, what the fuck is going on. No, I would be so 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 upset to lose that stupid fucking existence. Oh, I hope you don't terminate my soul right now. Oh I would so miss this pile of shit life you hyperspatial retards. Okay fucking bitch, you win, fuck you and your stupid fucking soul. We are going to send you back to your dumbass life, in the earth simulation, so you can suffer, you fucking cunt. Bye 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 you fucking cunt, I hope you feel stupid, lost, confused, in your fucking cubicle. Um, you okay, sweetie pie? You know what I have to say, asshole? 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 That is what I want to express, about this shit fuck reality, my existence, and this precious little stupid fucking moment. What else can be said, other than, a minor burst of noise and slop from a tight, hot butt fuck hole. Like oh my god, who is farting, and what the fucking fuck stinks, god damn it. Like, holy shit. Shit, 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 what the fuck is this? Is somebody fucking sick, or demented or something? Oh my god, I've never smelled stink like that. I am going to fucking die. Like, my god, that smells, like, so funky. Was that shit part of you, of your body, a moment ago? Sweetness. Oh, your tits are, like, so sexy. Like, um, fuckheads. I think I want to wipe some of that funky pudding on my sweet happy boobies. Bitches, what do you think? Will you help me smear it around? 
if you don't get out of my face, fucking cunt, I am going to kill you, and I am going to enjoy ritually doing so. I will softly, tenderly, cut your skin, from top to bottom, carefully, lovingly remove an organ, and I will philosophically gaze at it, wondering about its mystery. Oh, ha 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 ha, that would be like so awesome. Can you do that now? Will it make me horny? Will it make you come? Can you come in my dead face? Ha 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 ha. I just don't care about anything but this moment anymore. There is no tomorrow. That is because my mind field has telepathically interacted with yours, and my spiritual center has infected you, and you are now changed, not caring about what you did previously. Oh, well that's fucking stupid. Ha ha ha. I have to shit. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, that was very rude. You just sprayed your shit all over my face and Becca, butter cunt. How very rude of you. It really fucking stinks in here bitches. Oh, princess, you're steaming, stink, putting sure feels good on my round, happy boobies. Why don't you come and squish it around a bit, you cunt. Do you know that all of us know nothing? Or, more accurately said, we only know one thing. That we do not know. All our lives, we go about our days, never getting just a peek at what more there is to reality, but we never get it. We just get the same, over and over and over and over and over. Um, excuse me sweet tits, can somebody please wipe this shit off of my forehead? And the shit that is covering my little pen dicky? When I do DMT, I feel there is, meaning, that I can be, at peace, not feeling restless, inside. As I endlessly do in my normal, waking mind, my, at the office, consciousness. When I smoke marijuana, I feel that it allows me to escape all this fucking ass fucking shit of this fucking reality of unknowing. It gives me a place to go, into the soft psychedelic, where I can be myself, exist as a mystery of humming intensity and freedom. Excuse me, cunts, could I please see some tits? Can I please see your cunts? My DMT experience has made me sense the omnipresent, static, and I see that nothing, in the physical realm, matters, or means anything, nor has any meaning. When I smoke a lot of pot, I mean when I really fill my corpse with green ecstasy, often I will be standing in my living room, drooling, fill WTIH happiness of my sensing the, the infinite light behind everything, and in my stone fucking mind expansion, I often will be shocked with suddenly seeing little beads of fucking blinding light everywhere. The points of light are little infinities, little holes in reality, little portals of joy, as if suddenly the piercing, fierce, intensity and blinding light behind everything, is suddenly breaking through the mind screen simulation of physical reality that I am, sadly, usually stuck in. Excuse me, but I am covered with fucking shit, here. Can somebody please help me? I have a lot of faxes to do, and I can't walk about with this stinking shit all over me all day. So often I believe I would be better going to the forest to live like an animal, removing my clothing for good, rubbing my doll over myself, bending over and splattering my shit all over the tree trunks, imprinting my mind with the fractal and psychedelic geometry of nature. Nature ecstasy would become, in it to our minds. It is a life so foreign to the civilized slave. That it would be as if we existed in an entirely different dimension. Will either of you splendid cunts let me feel your boobies? It would mean so much to me, you cunt. Hey you fucking fucks. What the fuck is going on in here? Why aren't you working? Who's going to send us faxes? Who fucking shit all over the place? You're fucking kidding, right? Hey fucking bitch, I'll rip your... It's off. Get your shit ass in there and send some faxes. Goddamn cunt. Clean up all this fucking shit. Do you like the smell of my cunt? I love you, oh cunt. Oh, I love you, sweet twits. Please come inside me, be with me. So I am not alone. Somehow give me what I have always lacked. Take away my mistrim. Give me salvation.
of flowers in her bulb pulsates. Eyes expand around it. Creatures look into the sky. Gods of the dirt. In discontent and happiness. Pissing uncontrollably into the air. And sealing glorious visions of female buttocks. A new world is upon them. Faces looking into one another. Living machines. Anthropoid forms. Rationalists a swoon. Bone smashers. Beasts falling in death all around them.